you, Chris. Now to the expected strike on Syria. President Obama says that he wants Congress to back his plan, but that may be harder than first thought. So today he brought in a recent ally, Arizona Senator John McCain, to help him sell the plan. If the Congress were to reject a resolution like this, after the President of the United States has already committed to action, the consequences would be catastrophic in that the credibility of this country with friends and enemy and adversaries alike would be, would be shredded. And while the talk continues here in the States, Syria's president is warning there will be consequences if Western nations launch an attack. So, how do Syrian Americans here in the Valley feel? Well, some are calling for quick military action, including two Valley doctors with ties to the region. CBS 5's Sean Klein is live with more on their thoughts. Sean? See, and I spoke to those two Valley doctors earlier today, and both of them tell me the U.S. has to get involved in order to stop what they call senseless killing in Syria. Dr. Zaki Lababidi, for example, emigrated from Syria after he was shot at a number of times. Family members of his disappeared, never to be heard from again. He says there's enough evidence against the Assad regime to spark what he calls necessary military action. Another Valley doctor, Zudi Jasser says if the U.S. doesn't get involved, thousands more will die, putting the majority of the Syrian population at risk. I think this is a time for America to act and lead the free world to help Syria tip in the right direction. Sure, it's a mess. Sure, our, you know, what may come next may not be the greatest, but it's certainly, if there is any path forward for Syria, it has to be in the absence of the Assad regime. Now, overall, we're hearing mixed opinions from Arizona's Syrian-American population, uh, while several of them are appealing to Congress to take military action. There are others who say that any sort of war in Syria would worsen the chaos in the Middle East. Reporting live, Sean Klein, CBS 5 News. Sean, thank you. Labor Day.